Okay, now this is going to be funny. Now, mm-hmm. something we have not yet, as far as we know, mm-hmm. done in space. Oh, we, made whoopee. We have not. Made as whoopee. As far as we know. Now, here's the thing, though. Um, We've got these folks who are spending a lot of money mm-hmm. to be shot up into sort of space and then brought back down space again. Space-like stratosphere, yes. Now, apparently, McGill University in Montreal, they want to, uh, to, at some point, test this to see what happens. Now, if you go... Over 60 miles up into the air, you'll eventually release or, you know, find the, the, the beginning of space. Right. Now, 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 in this position or where you are is when weightlessness begins and all that. Right. So when gravity begins to which shift. Is, which uh-huh. is where Bezos and, and, and Richard Branson, they're, they're, they're sending the rockets up that high, pull around for a minute, and then come back down. Right. Again. They're not staying up too, too long. No. Now, they said the issue is um, physical proximity because apparently um, gravity will make it difficult to push against each other. Well, think about it because yes. weightlessness, mm-hmm. need I say more. And then the other issue is to avoid hitting each other in the head because, again, you're, you're kind of floating around. It's, it's hard to get close to the other person to perform this experiment. Um, and you may hit each other in the head at some point because you're, you're trying to get closer to perform Yeah, for that physical experiment. proximity to... Um, Finish y- yeah. the job. And then you've got obstacles around you that are mm-hmm. floating around now, too. So they say there's going to be some issues with this, but eventually there will be a study done to make Whoopi in space. It's coming eventually. And they're going to watch them. Ew. It will probably be a video, I'm sure. Yeah. More info, YesFM Facebook, Twitter at 967YesFM, and the Merzen Morning page at YesFM.com.